I'm gonna start with an ad. You guys have seen our Florida men video, right? If you've seen it, you'll understand this one. We want to visit Florida once again and see the dumbest ways to die. To start off, we're gonna go to 1993 when a Florida man was driving on the highway. Something happens and our guy hits a tree and falls out the front window and dies. Experts come to investigate to see what happened and they realized he was reading the newspaper while he crashed. We have to know that it was 1993, so there was no smartphones behind the wheel. And because of this, Florida decided to pass a law to not read the newspaper while driving. Vera Lawrence was a woman that lived in Florida, and she was not stoked about the size of her body parts, and that is why she decides to have plastic surgery. She didn't have much money, so she was looking for a cheaper route. She eventually finds a guy that would do it for cheap. She goes for surgery, and this guy decides to inject her with silicone. Vera immediately passes out, and when the guy realizes something is going wrong, he decides to dump her in front of the emergency room and bounce. And before the hospital can do anything, she was already dead. They run some blood work and realize there's silicone in her bloodstream. They eventually find the guy and arrest him, and send him to prison for manslaughter. In my opinion, it was kind of murder. What do you guys think? As you guys know, in the state of Florida, there's a place called Disney World. Next to this amusement park, there is a river where ships and boats pass by. Disney World themselves have a ferry to take the tourists and visitors around the park. The ship driver sees a water skier come in front of him, and it's heading right towards the ship. The driver of the boat is not paying attention where the skier is. The boat passes the ferry, but the skier smashes right into the ferry, and he dies right on the spot. The family of the victim decides to sue Disney, but in court they couldn't prove that Disney was at fault, and they said the driver of the boat was at fault. Molly German was a Floridian woman that wanted to be a gymnast. She even competed in some events. One time, she went to a vacation with her friend and they were staying at a hotel. And to practice, she goes to the hotel balcony and she does all types of stunts on the ledge of the balcony. She wasn't paying attention that she's pretty high up and if something goes wrong, she's gonna fall and die. Her friend that was with her was enjoying the show. Molly's hand slips and she falls right to her death underneath. There's a parking structure in Florida that had a manager. Most of the time, he didn't have anything to do, so he was watching movies. One time he was watching some videos about parkour and it seems like he was very much enjoying it. He was enjoying it so much that he told himself, hey, I can do that as well, it looks pretty easy. The parking structure stairway was there as well, one of those old school ones that has a large void that goes five stories down, and if you fall, you fall all the way down. As he was doing quote unquote parkouring, he slips on the stairs and falls right in the void in the middle. Let's go see some unusual people. Folks that used to take videos of smashing animals, videotape it, and upload it to the dark web. These two were husband and wife. Stephanie, which is the wife, gives her husband an idea to put the car tire on her husband's head, videotape it, and act like you got ran over by a car. 
The plan was to put a wheel and tire on top of her husband's head, add some fake blood to it, and act like he died. But instead of setting it on top of her husband's head, she kinda drops it. And the wheel and tire were so heavy, and the ground below was so hard, that it literally smashed her husband's head. Smashed just like those animals they squashed. The man died and was gone. But Stephanie was arrested for murder and animal cruelty, and she was sent to prison. On Fort Myers River, Florida, there's one of these bridges, and they're called movable bridges, and they're meant to move out of the way for the ships to pass by. In the year 2008, David Petroso was riding his motorcycle, and he gets to this bridge. When he gets to the bridge, he realizes that it's up, and it's coming down slowly. He says to himself, why should I wait? I should just drive there, and when I'm up there, it's probably going to meet the other side. He goes up at high speed, but when he gets up there, he realizes it's not even close, and he ends up hitting his head to the other side of the folded bridge. Another weird law in Florida is that you don't have to wear a helmet while you're riding a motorcycle, and this gentleman didn't have a helmet either. They believe if he had a helmet, he would have survived. In the year 2006, Gary was fishing, but he didn't follow the fishing laws, and he wanted to kill a giant fish by the name of the Goliath Grouper. And these guys are found in the Atlantic Ocean, and it's good to know you're not allowed to kill them. This guy decides to use a spear gun and shoot the grouper with it. And the spear guns have a rope on them, and some people tie the gun to their arm so it doesn't slip from them. This guy was doing a bunch of illegal things. First of all, you're not supposed to kill the Goliath grouper. And second of all, you're not supposed to use a spear gun because you could kill yourself. If you don't damage it properly, the fish has the strength to swim away. And if they feel threatened, they will swim away very fast. And Gary was strapped to the fish while he was swimming away. And the fish doesn't give a chance to Gary to cut off the rope and just swims down in the water and basically drowns him. Few days later, the Goliath grouper, Gary, and the spear gun all together swim to shore. But not really. It was their dead body that came out. Disney World has a lot of stories. Another story is that one guy on the water slide got sick and decides to get off the car in the water. He gets off and in the middle of the water starts to puke. And this is a spot where any second another train is gonna come by. But he wasn't alive for much longer because in a few seconds, one of these heavy trains came at high speed and pretty much killed him right on the spot. This really surprised a lot of people and they couldn't believe why he got off the ride in the middle of it. If you wanted to puke, you should have just did it on the ride. These are the stories that makes Florida famous all around the world. 